And then we went different directions. You went on. You got everything handed to you. I was there on dark. I was there on elevation. He goes, you've never been on dark in your life. You've never been on elevation. You've never, you've never even been on a rampage. Boy, I'll tell you what. They bear, That buries rampage so much. They, they There was a lot of stuff here. You know, they were trying to do kind of the... You know, the shooty Grayson Waller thing with Sean, with Sean saying the stuff you're not supposed to hear. And some of it worked and a lot of it didn't, I thought. Um, you know, one of the things with AEW is, is that, and it's one of the weaknesses of AEW, is, is two things. Number one is, is that so much of the talent complains publicly, which makes the company look real bad. And um, because there's no fear. And, and which, you know, and, and it's funny because guys have gotten um, buried for it, you know, if that's the right term, or taken off TV, you know, because of it. So it's not like you don't get punished, but I think a lot of them, you know, you got, you know, again, there's people who, who don't want to be there and sign contracts because, you know, they didn't think WWE wanted them, and then they had the dub. You know, some people have the WWE attitude come in, and some people don't. Some people from WWE are are tremendous assets to this company, and some people have been anything but that. And you know, it's a case by case basis, and you just never know who's going to be what. Probably, but um, the ones, of course, you know, the ones who publicly complain and and all that, you know, don't do any AEW any favors. To bring it up on your own television show that guys want to leave and, you know, then basically Rampage is a, on this one. We had Rampage is a secondary show. So and I mean, the ratings are and they clearly book it as a secondary show. And that's the reason why the ratings have fallen so much because of that. So you're basically saying, you know, like. If you're really good, you're never going to be on. You're not going to be on Rampage, which is exactly the opposite of how they should be building Rampage. Um, on WWE, would you ever have anyone go in there and in a thing and go like, "You're such a big star, you won't even go to SmackDown"? Of course they wouldn't, because Fox would kill them for it if they did, or vice versa. You would never do that. So, but here we saw that, and then with. Um, you know, the whole thing of um, um, Darby Allen talking about how all these guys complain and all these guys want to leave and everything like that, which is all these guys go on Twitter and complain, and you're just, okay, it, that's true. But there you're talking about on your own television show. You know, you're basically, by doing that, you're telling people you're the secondary company. And, you know, that's, you know, we, we've we've seen this since what was it may when this really first started happening and it's done the company no good it's not like they're they've grown since may loading up on some liquid energy here uncle howdy why does he do this why does he do this <laughs> that's like the uncle howdy thing why does he do that me to explain uncle howdy Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.